in this video, I'm going to show you how Joke runs the best defense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, I just want to highlight a little bit about what my channel is about. My channel is all about basically how to get better at Madden 21. Uh, I try to share different defensive and offensive tips and tricks every single day, whether it be from me or whether it be me learning from other players, um, to try to just talk a little bit about you know, how you can get better and what you can do to become elite. So I love studying joke. Now, real quickly here, if this is your first time, I upload multiple videos every single day, and I also stream every night at 10 o'clock. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Now, uh, what we're going to break down today is literally how Joke, in my opinion, even though he lost, I believe his loss was 100% because of his offense, it certainly was not because of his defense. The defense is the best part of Joke's game. And as we're kind of studying some of his film, I want to give you kind of his base blitz that he was utilizing in his game against John B's. Now, Obviously, there are adjustments that Joke made that we can't dive fully into yet because I haven't gotten through all of the film really in depth. But what I can tell you is I can tell you the core of what Joke started with and why it was very, very effective. So we're going to jump right in. I'm going to jump on over to practice mode, and we're going to talk about really two plays in particular that Joke utilized to really become a very effective defensive player with the 335 wide. All right, guys, so we're over in practice mode now. Joke ran 3-3-5 wide. Now, the way that he ran it is actually a little bit different than the way that I would recommend you running it. What I would recommend is you running it from nickel 3-3-5 normal and audibling down into 3-3-5 into wide. The way that Joke ran this was he was actually coming out in 3-3-5 odd out of the Giants playbook and audibling into 3-3-5 wide. The primary reason he was doing that was to get better personnel on the field. Now, the reason why I actually disagree with the recommendation of using the New York playbook is that Joke never really ran anything in this game other than 3-3-5 wide. Very seldomly did he run anything else. And so because of that, that's why I'm saying I would highly recommend the 4-6 playbook. It's the playbook that I have written an entire ebook on, and I actually have a full ebook out on the 335 wide. If you want to pick it up, there's a link in the description of this video. But I want to just kind of share John Beast was running the Carolina Bunch, right? The Carolina Bunch, and was running different variants, different variations, but one of his key plays was this Z spot and go. So I'm going to break this down uh, really quickly here for you. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and do is come out in 335. What Joke would have done was prob was come out in 245 odd or 335 odd. But the primary reason was personnel. So his audibles were set up so that he had Mike Blitz 3, Mike Blitz 0, Tampa 2, and Cover 2 Man in his audibles. And he was basically audibling from 335 odd because you can get an extra safety in there to 335 wide every single time. So um, what we're simply going to do is do the same thing just out in 335 normal. Okay. So the play we're going to audible into most, and this is where in Mutt, it actually makes a lot of sense to run this defense because the AP is 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 so, um, so good right now because one step ahead, you can have, I think you can have four of them on your team. And that's what Joke really did. I mean, he really fell into the one step ahead meta um, as far as his corners go, but he also uh, understands... You know, what are the holes of man defense? So primarily we're going to base this out of man coverage, and that being the Mike Blitz 0, the cover 2 man, are our two kind of main plays that we're going to go over here. So Mike Blitz O, and all we're simply going to do is we're going to press coverage. We're going to spread our defensive line. We're going to crash our defensive line out. And then we're going to take our user, and we're going to stand right about here. And what I like to make sure I do whenever I'm in cover 0 is I always want to shade over top so that I don't get burned over the top. And what you'll notice here is you got everybody manned up, and you're going to get pretty instant pressure at the quarterback as long as they don't block anybody. Now, you don't want to be blitzing if they're blocking people, right? Um, now, if they do block their running back, there is something that you can do. You can simply blitz this slot corner here. 
And if you do that, you just want to make sure that you essentially roll your coverages so that you can get that tight end manned up. But if they block the running back and you do this little setup right here, you're going to get instant pressure off the right edge, just like you were able to get the instant pressure off the left edge. Now, Joke didn't run a lot of that pressure, but that is at your disposal if you want it. The next little play version that you can do out of this is you can simply call a coverage defense out of it. So uh, you saw this a lot from Joke. He was running a lot of uh, different types of coverages. This essentially I put cloud flats on both sides here. They're going to drop. They're going to kind of play some of the curl routes and things like that. And the three down lineman rush from this formation is actually really, really effective. Another thing that I wanted to highlight that Joke did a lot of was literally um, – just simply calling cover to man, but I thought he had a really nice little version of it. So obviously he would press coverage, he would shade coverage underneath and shade coverage inside. We all know that that's one of the things that he would do, but then he's going to man up this linebacker on the right onto the tight end. And the next step is going to obviously be to blitz his user. And then he's going to take this um, backer that's on the running back side and simply put him in a hard flat. And what this did was it did a really good job against little quick drags, little quick routes, it also did a good job of defending the running back to the flat. So this is a very simple setup, but one that I thought was super effective. And with a three down lineman rush, you actually get really, really good pressure. So this was another one of his tactics that I felt like was really, really effective. And then the last setup is more of a cover one style of setup, which we can kind of do it out of cover zero or cover two man. And we're going to obviously man up that tight end. We're going to spread our line, crash our line out. And then what we're going to simply do is we're going to roll the coverage, meaning we're not going to have anybody deep on the right side of the field. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our corner, uh, our safety on the left side into a purple zone. We're then going to put our safety on the right side into a deep blue zone. And then from there, what I actually like to do is if I have a chance to, I will basically back off on Chris Godwin. I won't press him. And the reason why is because if he's running that corner route, then I don't want to have to deal with it. And you, you see there, with that back off, you're not going to have to deal with that corner out getting over the top of the man coverage. So that's a little bit about how Joke ran the best defense in Madden 21. Now, if you want to get my version of this in the full ebook, uh, a lot of people have been having a lot of success with it. You can pick that defensive ebook up in the description. And I actually have a sample video of that same defense, about 56 minutes of essentially a mini scheme or mini guide version of a sample um, that is in my text message membership which all you have to do to sign up for my text membership is just text me my phone number is 812-216-3644 I want to thank you for watching this video and I also want to invite you to our stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time and just want to remind you if you want to pick up the full defense there is a link in the description of this video